You know, I don't really like having visitors anymore. So with all due respect, you should consider this a big deal. For a man who supposedly killed my daughter, those are strong words. But you didn't kill her now, did you? I wouldn't be here if I actually believed that. So then why are you here? I can't lie and say that I don't find this strange. I know you're one of those men who have to have a pity party and make everything about you so that you can feel guilty. You still didn't answer my question. Years ago, I did something terrible when my daughter got her tooth pulled. Go on. While she was under anesthesia, I had her eggs frozen. No, no, I'm sorry, what? My ex-husband Jackson is one of the richest men in the world. And he cares a lot about his legacy. He also has access to the world's best doctors. But there was no telling when Melissa would ever find a man to continue on his bloodline. So what the hell were you going to do with her eggs? Melissa didn't find the right man. We hoped to find the donor for her and tell her when the time was right. She had PCOS and all these other issues. Every doctor that told her that she had PCOS or any type of problem with her fertility, they were paid handsomely to tell her that. You made her believe that she had infertility issues? Just until she found the right man. This way she could raise the baby with the family, not just on her own. Oh, Regine, that's insane. Oh, please, get off your high horse. Would you want your daughter procreating with someone that's not right for her? Would you want her to procreate at the wrong time? You knew, Melissa. But here's the thing, Joey. I think I found my donor. Wait. You think that I... You owe it to Melissa to have her baby. The baby that she never got to have. You could either sit here and have your pity party and be guilty and be a martyr. Or you can do something with your life and repay Melissa. And put a baby into this world. We could easily find you a surrogate. 